What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so... <laughs> well, who would ever thought that we'd be back here for the second part of Pokemon Black? Yeah. The young crown champ has returned! And we got a bone to pick with a lot of people here because we still need to win a championship. Anywho, in our last episode, if you guys don't remember, a few months back, uh, we actually saved Unova from utter destruction from Team Galactic, I think, yeah? Plasma, Galactic, they all look the same. Defeated N, defeated Getsis. We got ourselves a pretty cool legendary Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, technically speaking, we did not win the Pokemon League. So, now, we got stuff to do here, and it's going to be... <laughs> It's going to be quite an adventure, guys. Trust me, it's going to be quite an adventure. So let me go. Ahead, let me show you guys right here uh, what I'm talking about. Now, let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get to my items right here. The town map. I'm going to use this little bastard right here. And uh, well, you guys can't really see it from the bottom right here because, of course, you, you guys already know that I'm taking off the which we call it the the other screen because we're at the tail end of our uh, walkthrough right here. So we got three places that we need to take care of. We need to go to Lacunosis uh, Town. And then after that, we need to go straight to Undela Town. And finally, we need to finish it up right here at Black City. Now, in this second part of our adventure right here, we're going to be looking for these seven sages and all that stuff. So I guess that's what we need to do. Let's get this uh, whole thing on the road right here. It's been a while, guys. I know, I know. And look at that. Mom. Welcome home, Draven. Seems like you've been through many amazing things. Is it not so? No, oh, this guy, well, what the hell? Something's odd about this person. That's not my mom, wait. Incredible, really? Amazing, absolutely. Meeting these two Pokemon of a legend. Mom, ah, uh, ah, uh, this, this is it. Oh, I still wear my disguise. Pardon. Or rather, let me introduce myself. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, it's Looker. Look at this guy. I am the globetrotting elite of the International Police. My name, I uh, know, I shall inform you by my code name only. My name is, it is Looker. It is uh, how I am called. Behind these scenes in this region of Unova, the organization called Team Plasma Conspires. This I heard, and therefore to the, this region I must uh, come, but thanks to the gym leaders and you, yes, Team Plasma's castle has fallen and the members, they have gone upon uh, their separate ways. This is what I hear, most certainly. Oh, damn, this guy right here. But, however, however, but, the ones known as the Seven Sages still, they hide themselves in the Genova region. And so, in the end, it explains why I must ask of you, or ask this of you, trainer of amazing skill. Trainer, uh, travel the Unova region and search it up, uh, search it up and search it down for the Seven Sages. Alder, the champion of renown, recommended you to my notice. Are you willing to help me? Well, technically, he's not the champion. I mean, N won, and I beat N, so technically, I should be the champion. But okay, sure, why not? Excellent, I thank you. Now, I feel as I, as if I have perhaps a million people on my side. Permit me to give this info into your hands. And we get ourselves a pretty cool rod right here. Look at that. We get ourselves a super rod, enabling us to capture a buttload of Pokemon. That's a super rod, right? Yep. Yes, correct. It is certainly a super rod. Why aren't we talking about the, seven, the, the Team Plasma Seven Sages? What does this have to do with looking for those people? I see. It is truly Draven's mama to ask. Uh, Draven's mama to ask. So, what a magnificent question! I admire it. It is my pleasure to answer. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Uh, okay. So that right there was odd. Let's see. Yes, I shall provide the explanation of, of this. The super rod. First, face the water and employ the rod. Second, concentrate your focal point. When it occurs that these Pokemon bite, exclamation mark, will indicate immediately reel it in. For the rest, Draven, I depend on I depend upon you. He didn't really explain a lot. Okay, so that was that was odd. Very odd. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Mama right here. And she's like, people from the international police are, are kind of uh, unique, aren't they? Well, no worries. I think you should just do what uh, you want to do. You're practically a grown-up now. Well, technically I am, I mean. Turned 30 about a month ago. I mean, shoot. 
but I'm in an 11 year old uh, boy's body right here. So let's go ahead and take a step outside. And what do we find? Hello, hello. We are back in the summer, going into the autumn right here. This is the first. Oh, wow. We're in the winter again. Wow. It, it has been a long time. It has been a while, guys. And well, here's our buddies, Sharon. Hey, Draven. Is Luca through talk, uh, talking to you? Yep. Bianca, my BFF. I'm sorry. By the time I went to see, uh, to get the, uh, Stranton G City Gym Leaders, everything was over. No, they were cowardly. If that's the case, I, I like Gets his escape with the Shadow Triad creating an opening. What? Huh? Getz's? The Shadow Triad? I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you later about what happened in the castle. It's more important to ask what you plan to do now, Bianca. Mm, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go to Black City. That's the city on the other side of Round 16 when you leave from uh, Numbasa City. Hmm. If you go that way, you might be able to meet all sorts of Pokemon you've never seen before. Mm, okay, so what's going on right here? Oh, look at that! It is Professor Juniper's dad, I think. Professor Juniper. The other one, Cedric Juniper. Oh, well, this is a nice timing. I see you're all here. Just a moment ago, I got some national I got some national Pokedex data, and I kinda skipped that stuff. Since you're all here, let's upgrade your Pokedex with the national Pokedex data. I'm sure you'll you'll be visiting a wider range of places. Naturally, that means you'll be encountering more Pokemon. Let me see your Pokedex for a sec. Click 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 click. And there you go, Bianca. Click 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 click. Here you go. Next up is Sharon. And here you go. The badass. And last, but not least. The badass of Straven. Hell yeah! Look at that. You can now switch your Pokedexes to the National Mode Pokedex. Completing the National Pokedex will surely be a big challenge. So take your time and enjoy yourself and meet lots of Pokemon. Yeah, true. This is very, 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 very true. This is awesome. Very, very awesome. Okay, so that's done right there. Now we gotta talk to these people. Wow! National Pokedex? It looks like there's a ton of Pokemon I don't know yet. Oh, oh! I want to show mom and dad my Pokedex. I gotta go. Let's mend again somewhere, okay? Sure, why not? And of course, Sharon right here is like, huh, Bianca's as impetuous as ever, no matter what is going on. I think I'll travel uh, all the way around Unova, starting at Route 1 again. I'm sure I'll discover lots of new things. Could be I'll encounter the seven sages along the way. And Draven, if we spy each other, uh, along the way, let's battle again, okay? Sure, why not? That's what I'm here for, right? Right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, our newest adventure starts right here, guys. We have to look locate all of the seven sages uh, through this whole thing. And, yeah, uh, you know, Sharon is right. We actually have to start from the very beginning right here. And... You know, along the way, I will be switching out Pokemon here and there. You might be seeing some different Pokemon just because, uh, well, you know, I have them right here on, on my team or something. And this is just to complete the whole walkthrough right here, guys. Trust me, it is going to be a nice minute for me to complete this whole thing right here. I've actually played this off-screen on my regular DS, and uh, trust me, it is a uh, an adventure and a half right here. So here we are in Route 1, going on to the very first town right here. Nothing too big right there. Now, uh, let's see. Before we continue on right here, I'm probably just going to go into the uh, Pokemon Center and switch out a Pokemon because I need somebody with cut and quite possibly with strength. So let me see right here. Of course, you guys can't see the bottom screen. I switched that out. So let's see. I got a good team. Uh, okay, so somebody... Okay, he has strength. Hotshot. Drillmonger is okay. Shedder's here. Chances are I might take out uh, Drillmonger for the time being. Oh, you know what? I might just take out uh, Reshiram. Not really needing a, a legendary Pokemon on my team for right now, so... Alright. The Pokemon uh, system is... Oh, congratulations! More wallpapers are added to commemorate your success. Okay, so we got more, more stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't really care about the wallpaper. So, let's see. We got some grass-type Pokemon right here. Of course, the legendary... Uh, Verizon, and I'm not really gonna use them. I'm actually gonna need a Pokemon that can just cut. So, oh wow. And there is a Pokemon egg that I have yet to hatch. 
So, let's go right ahead and put that in our team while we're doing all this stuff. So let's go ahead and take out Chromonger. And, well, let's see. Let's see. What else do we have to do? We gotta get a Pokemon in those cut. Uh, okay, so here we go. Petrat. Petrat. As a, the move that I need. And, of course, like I said, guys, I'm gonna be switching out every so often. Do not worry. The old team will be back right here. So... Let us move on right here. I do not know who's on that Pokemon egg. I don't know why I left it right there. I probably was being lazy and all that stuff. Anywho, uh, so just want to talk about a few things before I get into the big deal uh, right here, guys. Uh, yeah, the reason why I didn't come out with any more Pokemon Black walkthrough episodes was because of the... What was it? Because of my birthday. I kind of wanted to come out with... Uh, well, with more Leaf Green uh, or with more uh, X walkthrough videos right there. Hold on just a sec. My phone is reacting. God dang it. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to come out with more episodes and all that crud. And let's see. Hold on just a sec. I kind of feel like I have the wrong... Okay. So Bandit needs to move away because it's going to get attacked right here. And what else? Needed to take a break. Uh, for those who have me on Twitter, of course, uh, I went off on a tangent on the governor of California just because, yeah, we closed up shop right here again. As you guys already know, I am a part owner of a gym right here, so of course I'm going to be mad about what's been going on as of lately. And right now, we're still in this pandemic, guys. Kind of sucks. Really, really sucks. And... You know, I'm doing my best to get by right here. Trust me, guys. I'm okay. It's just... God dang. This thing really needs to end. People need to listen and all that stuff. Now, here we are in the Dream Yard. Now, back in the very first 5, 10 episodes, we were here to save a Muna and Musharna and all that stuff. Now, we actually can use the cut technique right here and go through this whole area right here. And chances are you might find one of the uh, Seven Sages right here. So, let's go ahead and cut this whole thing. And that is cut. And let's go right ahead and discover more things around here. Let's see. Of course, there's going to be patches of grass. And yes, we do not have that option to repeat that, that or to use a repel again. So let's go right ahead right here. There is a secret entrance right there that I could get to. So I got to... I gotta move around just a little bit, you know, flex the muscles just a little bit right here. And, well, there's really nothing I can do right here, so I think I, me I messed up a little. How do we get to that location? There is a spot right here. Hold on. Can I get right here? No, there's a wall right here. wonder who built that wall. And, well, let's go right here. Okay, so we've... We saved Musharna right here. That wasn't the location that we needed to go to. I think there's an area right here where we need to... Oh, there we go. We can actually enter this area right here. Look at that. Okay, so now we can actually go downstairs right here. And... Look at that. It is a... Well, a secret location right here. Now, one thing you guys need to know. There are Pokemon in here. And there are Pokemon trainers here that are strong. Trust me on this one. You're gonna about, you guys are about to find out right here. So, take a look at this guy. To research strange Pokemon, having a battle is a good approach, don't you think? I think so. I really do think so. Okay, so our first battle back in Pokemon Black, and it's a big against Scientist Marcus, and he will be coming out with a Drowsy, first Pokemon from Kanto that we're seeing, and look at that, it is at level 63. Yeah, guys. We are not joking, you are going to be leveling up your Pokemon in no time right here. Luckily for me, I do have X-Scissors and uh, Marcus, being a scientist and all, likes to use his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his x moves and all that stuff. And look at that, X-Scissors. Oh yeah, takes him down, alrighty. Okay, alrighty, good, good, good stuff. Good stuff, look at that. And he's going to be coming out with another hit for he's going to be coming out with a hit now. So, I'm going to do the same thing over and over again. This guy has forewarned, so yes, he's being forewarned of the X scissors right here. So here we go, sign up the torrent, getting some. There we go, X scissors. Nearly takes this guy out, and here comes that side shot. Bam. Oh, Jesus, okay. So we're getting our, we're not really getting our butts kicked. Just make sure to bring a lot of healing items, guys. Uh, trust me, if you're not... 
if you're not even close to the levels that I am right here going up against these guys, then it's gonna be a while before, or you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna have a fun time just going around these areas and, uh, and these people right here. But these guys do benefit you in some way too. That is that you know, Pokemon are leveled up, more experience points for you guys right there. And look at that. Yeah, buddy, more egg scissors. Bring on the psychic type Pokemon, and Musharna nearly faints right there. It was a critical hit, so this guy, yeah, not going to, he's not going to faint right now. Come on, stop being an asshole. Here we go, egg scissors for the win. Stuck on those lemons right there. Musharna fainted. Yeah, buddy. So like I said before, guys, it's, uh, it's going to be is going to be a tough one going around here so make sure to have all these pokemon leveled up and everything and uh, now that i remember i do have rare candies and i do have an experience share so i should probably give that to a pokemon that i have here just so we can you know take well you know knock uh, knock two birds with one stone so let's see let's see where is the experience share i got a master ball a lucky egg so i'm gonna give that Let's see, what does Sai have? Okay, so you know what? I will be giving him that. Amulet coin, I will give that to. Let's see, you know what? I should probably give that to Ace. And then, where's the experience here? I, knew, I know I have an experience here somewhere. Uh, let's see, let's see. Nope, there's rare candies. I'm trying to find that experience. Uh, did I give it to somebody? Ah, oh, crud. I think I did. Well, never mind. Never mind. Let's continue on right here. Eventually, I'll, I'll, I'll learn my lesson and all that stuff. I do not want to talk to these people right now. And let's see. For the majority of this this whole thing, I'm not going to battle all these guys all at once, guys. I'm just trying to get through this whole thing. That way, we can finish this walkthrough. Uh, off screen, I will be battling everybody just so I can level up my Pokemon right here. Because we still got a Pokemon League Challenge to go through. So here we go, scientist, uh, scientist uh, Catherine right here, coming with her Jigglypuff, level 64. It's like an underground fight club, and nobody speaks about this. Trust me, you don't speak about fight club. And here we go, let's get this revenge. And of course they like to use uh, dire hits and all that stuff, so here we go. Oh yes, revenge. Come on, take him out, take him out. Oh my god. And there we go. Jigglypuff has been defeated. And... Oh wow, the cute charm, it, it, well, it makes me fall in love, so... And that means I'm gonna have to switch out my Pokemon right there, so let's go with uh, another Pokemon right here. Musharn is gonna be coming out, so let's go with Shadar right here. Shadar. water guys gotta say hi to it's still summer by the way and here we go with Musharna looking all mean and everything level 64 but guess what I got crunch attack right here and I believe Musharna does have some really high defense so hopefully this guy takes him out come on damn it and here comes that lucky chant critical hits are gonna be up there right now so let's go again another crunch attack for the win Let's go, buddy. And that's how you do it. Shadar. Defeated. That's right. That's right. Look at that. And Shadar has grown to another level right there. Oh, look at that. Shadar has a... Yeah, he has a... The experience share. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we got... We found out the mystery... We found out the mystery of the experience share. And would you look at that. We're going to be uh, battling this guy. Hmm. That's how you showed up. I'm assuming he's a psychic. All these Pokemon trainers have psychic type Pokemon. I'm assuming that. And uh, here we go, coming out with a Starmie. Looking all mean and everything. You don't scare me, Starmie. Of course, you remind me of a Pokemon that I had back in the green. Mm -hmm. Patrick. And, well, of course, it's a water type Pokemon right here, but we got X Scissors and, well, they're gonna be faster than us, so. We're gonna be struggling a little bit, guys. A little bit. And, uh, wow, that's certain. Wow! Critical hit. Wow. So just like that, we are pretty much in a pickle right now. So 
gotta switch out Pokemon. Which one will resist it better? Let's go with Ace right here. Ten levels down, but yes, I think he can get this. I don't think you know, Swift Attack will actually finish this guy off. So here we go, Stoutland from Scotland, ready to kick butt. But this guy in his rapid, rapid kicks and rapid spins and all that stuff. But look at that wild charge! I got myself wild charge. I did not remember that. Okay, so here we go, wild charge for the win. Eat it, Starmie. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. No more Starmie. A little bit of recoil, but guess what? We still gain levels right here, and he's going to be coming out with a Wobbuffet now. Wobbuffet is more of a dangerous uh, opponent than anything because it's a bunch of magic, but it will hit you twice, maybe triple as hard as uh, what you did to it. So we're going to have to try and beat this guy right away. And, well, let's see with the crunch right here. More likely this guy's gonna be going counter, so one good hit would probably do it. And crap basket, come on, all the way down! Come on! Ah, oh, damn it! Damn it! Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, so he automatically knew that we were gonna use a physical attack. So, oh god. Oh god. Okay, so let's go with a hot shot right here. Okay, so. What up, Hot Chat? Time to use some different kinds of moves on this guy right here. So let's go, Flare Blitz. Come on, finish him. And come on, come on. And yeah, buddy. Hot Shot for the win. Suck on those lemons. And that is a very good victory. Like I said, guys, you're going to be challenged right here. So we're gonna be using uh, some re some revives here. I do have some some you like some good uh, good items right here. So we got quite a few revives from the Pokemon League Challenge. So let's go ahead and revive Shada right here, and let's go with some hyper potions. Can never go wrong with hyper potions, you guys. And look at that side of the torrent getting revived and all that stuff and. Okay, so we're ready to go again, and well, again, my, my deal is this, that I'm trying to avoid as many trainers as possible, I will battle these guys uh, outside, off screen, but my deal is that I have to, you know, complete this whole thing right here, so, there we go, and here we find an exit, and would you look at that, we found ourselves a fir uh, the first of, them, uh, of the, the seven sages, but before we go there, we're going to get this, the revive. Another good revive, which is good. And, well, that is pretty much it right there. So now, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Oh, he pushes me right here. Boo! Were you surprised? Oh, trainer who destroyed our castle? I was quite surprised by you. If you surprise them, both Pokemon and people will leave themselves open. While they're in a state of surprise, they can't use their powers like they normally do it would. Our intention was to surprise people by making our castle appear and showing off the legendary Pokemon. At that moment, we plan to deeply impress people's hearts with the awesome power of Team Plasma. Now I got all that name wrong. Wow, it was Team Plasma, my bad guys. And the brilliance of our new world. Now that I've uh, now, now that I've seen the strength of the spirit of you and the gym leaders, I wonder how effective that strategy would have been after all. Maybe that strength of the spirit of, is what needed to take Pokemon to the next level. Hmm. I'm sorry to have wasted your time with this silly conversation. Take this with you. And we get ourselves the TM75, which is Swords Dance. Very good power up move. My Lord Anne's dream. You were the one who put the stop to that. Please don't ever forget that. And just like that, oh my god. Lookers here is like, ah, and now about Team Plasma. I'm an officer of the International Police, and there are so many things you must tell me at once. Musharna is said to appear here. Its dream mist mis uh, makes you dream makes you see dreams, but they are nothing but illusions. The dreams you realize with your own abilities are the real dreams. Accept my thanks. Now Getsis was standing. There are there, there yet remains five of these seven sages still at large. What it is they are thinking, what it may be, or they are hoping. This information I pursue until we meet again. And uh, there we go. 
Say goodbye to Looker. So that's one. Okay, so that is one of five, seven sages. What, what, okay, so okay, so if there's five left, who didn't make it? Does uh, what was it? Does Getz's count as a uh, as a super or as a as a sage? I'm 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 kind of questioning that, guys. And yeah, you can find some interesting Pokemon right here. What I'm gonna do right now is just grab some items and be on my merry way because you know what? It is freaking awesome. So here we have a Hyper Potion. And it looks like to me I'm gonna have to be stocking up on those uh, Hyper Potions pretty soon here. Uh, let's see, this right here, you can actually push back. That way it can be an easier entrance to this whole location. And by the way, this is a very good location to actually train your Pokemon as well. So that is there. And, well, here is an extra entrance. Now, I'm just going to be grabbing a few more items. Grabbing this, the TM85 a Dream Eater. A very good move. Combination move, I should say. And nothing right here. So, I think we're done. Like I said, guys, I will be battling everybody in here that I haven't battled. In, on like, off screen. That way, you know, we can stay leveled up and everything like that. So... That is pretty much it for this episode, going into a our after-game adventure. Like, uh, like Looker said, we still got five more sages to go, and what I'm going to do right now off-screen, battle some of those trainers, stock up on items, and then, you know, continue our adventure right here, guys. We are very close to finishing up this whole walkthrough, guys. I cannot wait to get to be done, fully done with this. Cannot wait. So thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure uh, you know to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Black Walker. See you guys.